Data validation can help you to control what your users enter into your cells. It also allows you to create drop-down menus for your users. In this tutorial, we will cover some basics on using data validation. So first, how do we access data validation? Your first step is to select the cell or the range. You can select a range by holding shift and clicking. But we'll just use a cell for now. Go to data and about midway down, you'll see data validation. You can click that or my preferred method is to click the cell or range and then right click and scroll to the bottom and you can see data validation. So let's go through each of these items so you know what they mean. So first, cell range. Cell range is where you want your validation to occur. So for us, this is B3. If you wanted to change it, you can always click the select data range and you can change it by dragging this around here. And once you're done, you can click OK. It'll take you back. All right, so let's move that back just to that single cell. And you can also manually change that here. I will click OK. And we are only using B3. Next, the criteria. So the criteria is a list of standard options. So if I click on this drop down menu here, you can see a list of uh, criteria that you could use for your data validation. If you select one of these, you'll notice on the right hand side and towards the bottom that some of the options will also change. Okay, let's head back up to list from a range. Okay, our next option is on invalid data. One approach is just to simply show a warning or to reject the input. Let's just show warning from now and we'll leave reject input as it is. Finally, the appearance, show validation help text. This is pretty important for your users, particularly if it's their first time uh, entering data where you have validation, they might not know what to expect or what to put in. So when they make the first mistake, then you've got uh, a warning or help text that will allow them to understand what they have to put in. Okay, so currently we have our B3 and we have list from a range. So list from a range means that we can select somewhere in our sheet, either in the current sheet tab or in another sheet tab, a range of data that we want as our list. So for example, if I click this or enter range, I'm gonna click here. This will give me a little pop-up menu. I'm gonna move this over to the right here and I might select this range, but I currently don't have anything in it. So let's say cat, dog, goat. And I will select OK, and I'll reselect this range, and select OK. All right. Now in B3, this will, should come up with a drop-down menu with cat, dog, and goat. So we want to show a drop-down list. So I'm going to check that button, and we'll just say show a warning for now to see what happens. Click and enter our value from the range. That makes sense for our users. Save. And now we can see a little drop-down arrow appears, and we can click it, and we can select any one of these. Or the user can type in goat or dog or cat. Now, if they enter another criteria, for example, one, you can see in the top right hand corner a little uh, red triangle and it tells them that the entry is incorrect with invalid input must fall within specified range. Uh, this is useful, but more often than not, we want to use data validation for strict rules. So we want to prevent the user from putting in something uh, that may break our formulas down the track. So to update, we can click on the cell again, right click and go down to data validation. And you'll see that everything from our first data validation entry is still here and we can make some changes. The only thing we want to change here is reject input and click save. As you can see, the error sign is still here, but when we make another change, we go back to goat, which is valid, it'll be fine. But if I say cheese, one of my favorite animals, you can see a pop-up warning appears, preventing us from adding it. Click and enter the value from the range. Click OK. If you only have a short list and you don't want to put it in your cells in uh, the current sheet or another sheet, you can simply create a list of items. So let's click on this cell in B9 and we'll right click and scroll down to data validation. And this time we will change our criteria to list of items. So we can again do the same thing. We can go cat and each one is separated by a comma. So next one is dog and most importantly, goat. We want to show the drop down list. 
and we want to reject the input and we want to show the validation help and we will hit save and the same pop-up menu appears that we can drop down and select from and of course we haven't used any of the ranges on our sheets we've just put them in with a comma separated value another useful tool is to uh, force our users to put down strict dates let's right click again and go down to data validation in our criteria we will select date just leave it as is valid date this will uh, force the users to put in any sort of valid date and we want to reject the input and show the validation help for our users and hit save all right so now i can put in the date so let's say it's the 21st of jan 2021 and click enter and that is a valid date but if i put in a chicken we'll get an error Fortunately, it doesn't just take one single date type and the users can put in multiple dates. So if I say 12th uh, backslash 01, because I'm using the British calendar in the US, you might want to change that around. And then 21, we can hit enter. And that is also a valid date for our users. So there are a number of different types that will accept for the user's preference. Lastly, we can use number range. So let's click on this cell. And let's say we want to force our users to insert a number only, and that number needs to be between a certain range of numbers. So let's right click, scroll down, data validation, and then we can go to number, and between is my personal favorite. So I'm going to say between one and 10, keep it simple. Uh, this might be a range of options that the user might want to choose. We can hit save, and now when we put in a word, the H-E, we'll get an error. Oh, we only changed it to advice and we want to make it strict. So we're going to right click, go to data validation and on invalid data, we will say reject input. Okay, hit save again, go back and we'll go, uh, go mistake and hit enter. And there was a problem, but if I put in one, it will be good. Two, three. What if we put in 11? Ah, we've got an error because it's between those ranges. One thing to note though, is between number ranges, they will handle decimal points. So if your user chooses 1.2, oh, 1.2, then that will be an, an acceptable choice of the number. Also, users can put in formulas for any one of these, as long as they equate to uh, the data validation rule. So for example, if I go equals one plus two which is three the rule is accepting that formula and we can see up the top here that is a formula but it's still accepted by the data validation because it's between one and ten so lastly to remove your data validation all you need to do is click on the cell or range that it's in right click scroll down data validation and remove validation but data validation is a really big topic and well worth its own series, which I'm making shortly. Check out the link in the description below for a full series on data validation. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.